Hello and welcome to the Zenless Mysteries. Today we will be looking into a flying humanoid report. This sighting comes out of Madison, Wisconsin from January of 2002. Now the witness given this report was only six years old at the time of the sighting. That she makes this sighting report for her mother. That she was in the car but doesn't remember the sighting. So keep in mind that she has been told this story many times over the years. Now the witness states that in January of 2002, that they lived in an apartment that was off of the Seminole Highway exit on the Beltline in Madison. That one night they got off at their exit, then they turned left and started heading towards the second set of lots there. That after they passed the bridge and stopped for the lot, now this is when the witness says her mom saw this flying creature. She said that this creature was flying straight at them, that it turned its head and they made eye contact. But upon them making eye contact, this creature just disappeared right in front of her. But that before this creature just disappeared, the witness or the mother noticed that this creature was very bat-like, but way too large to have been a bat. While it was dark outside, making it very hard for her mother to make out details, making this creature look very opaque in its color, almost shadow-like. With this creature's wings being large, but that she never saw them flap, that this creature was just gliding in the air. Now the daughter says that she does remember her mother screaming and being completely freaked out that night. Her mother says that she didn't scream until her and this creature locked eyes. Its eyes were glowing a bright red and seemed to pass right through her. Then this thing was just gone, the mother said, that when she became freaked out and screamed, the eyes were scary, but that this thing was there. She was looking right at it. Then the next thing she knows, it was gone. Where could it have gone? So it was able to be viewed as long as it didn't know she was watching it. But as soon as they locked eyes and it knew that it was being watched, it simply just disappeared. So does this creature have some crazy special abilities which allows them to vanish or cloak? Or could these creatures that are being seen be coming from a dimensional rift or something like that? That's a theory that is being thrown around a lot nowadays. Or could it be some kind of time rip in time? That when people are seeing these creatures through a window of time and space, but when the window closes, these creatures just disappear. Just giving a few thoughts here about why this creature just seemed to vanish to the witness. So the witness says that she thought that was it. She saw this thing and never thought she would ever see it again. But they had moved to a new apartment, saying that her mom was downstairs doing laundry when she turned to go look into the storage unit. While she was looking in the unit, she says that she saw another bat-like creature with the same red glowing eyes, that it was in back of the unit behind some of their stuff. She was sure that this was the same kind of creature that she saw on Seminole just a few weeks earlier. The witness said that fear rushed all over her body as this creature's red glowing eyes were staring right at her. At this point, she ran back upstairs, then would never go back downstairs again. That they moved away from there after a few days of this sighting with them leaving everything that was in the storage unit, saying that they never saw this creature again, but that after the second sighting, they found a few news articles of people reporting very similar sightings of this creature. So even now, they still try to find news reports on these creatures, but they think someone is taking all the reports down, that they can't even find the other reports anymore. So they think there are something trying to keep the sightings from the public. That you can't find any official reports anymore. 
There have been many sightings of flying red-eyed humanoids over the years. Such sightings include the Lake Michigan Mothman, the Wisconsin Batman, and others. The Wisconsin Batman is often described as having yellowish glowing eyes, though. But I can see no reason it couldn't have large red glowing eyes. Well, if there are people out there looking for some of these sighting reports, try looking up the Singular 14 Society, with 14 being spelled F-O-R-T-E-A-N. They have a few sightings listed there, with some of the sightings dating as far back as 1969. There are a few people out there that are truly trying to bring out this being into the mainstream consciousness with most of these types of creatures being described as having large to medium-sized wings, while they also have large red glowing eyes, with sightings not only being in the air. They have been seen walking along the ground as well, with some description describing them as being a gargoyle-type creature to a human-owl-looking creature. But the bat type comes mostly out of Wisconsin, so could there be multiple types of these flying humanoids? Flying humanoids are some of the strangest cryptids out there. So many versions out there of these creatures. Or could they only be one type of this creature? So whether if you have seen a mothman flying over Lake Michigan, or a large gargoyle over Texas, even the humanoid bat-like flying over Wisconsin, just remember that these creatures are being seen by many people. While yes, they will always be those people that says that these creatures can't possibly exist. Just say to yourself as they are telling you this, that they wasn't there, but that you were, and that you know what you saw. Almost all people can't believe in something that they haven't seen for themselves. So without them seeing these creatures, they will never believe in them. So keep your heads up while reporting these strange creatures. Well, I hope you like this sighting. So until next time, stay safe and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. So you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.